welcome to a very nice day if not a tad windy you may have observed from that signpost I'm not in Lincolnshire I'm back in Norfolk I'm on my way to go and have a look at some coastal erosion there's a lot happened since exactly 12 months ago to the week since I was here So as you can see I'm heading towards a lighthouse. The lighthouse in question is the Haysborough Lighthouse. Not Happysburg, as you might think it said. In local dialect it's Haysborough, obviously. So it's a very nice afternoon, mid-afternoon currently, just after three o'clock. It's a balmy 17 degrees. So I think every time I come here, I've a significantly less of a land. It keeps falling in the sea. I think every big storm in winter, it appears on the news. I think this road close sign there used to be quite a lot of tarmac beyond it. Even going back three years, even going back last year, there was quite a lot. But as you can see, I think it's going to end up in there before long. Someone's written on the board here how far away it was. So February the 15th this year, six metres, is now 1.9 metres. So that's just since February which is kind of quite scary. Obviously in 30th of September there, quite a lot has gone since June. I'm sure last year there was even a fence here. So I rode down here last year. I'm gonna go down it, see how far I can get. Last year I got quite a long way. see this year not getting very far at all this whole section was definitely here last year and I rode quite a long way down there beyond the far point that you can see there but this has all gone it's down there look you can see some yellow lines scary really isn't it I'm sure last year there was a Volkswagen Beetle just in there. It's presumably been removed to a place of safe keeping. I definitely wouldn't fancy being in that caravan in a storm or even in that bungalow. Or well, definitely not the one beyond the caravan. And I'm sure looking in that direction, the cliff edge was not just there. I'm sure it was a long way further out. It's not long ago that this area was quite a thriving caravan site. It had lots of uh, tarmac roadways in it. And as you can see, what I'm about to show you, they're now ending very suddenly. You can see there's lots of pipes here sticking out. This used to go a very long way out. I'll see if I can find I'll see if I can find some photographs of it and, and drop them in. 
it's not very long ago at all that it was thriving and was full of caravans. Looks like I'd better go left here, eh? Just talking to a, a dog walker and uh, he reckons that he was last here three years ago and he reckons there's at least 15 meters has gone in the last three years. So I'm now on the North Norfolk coastal path. And as you can see, this isn't far from the edge now either. there. So I've just ridden a few miles along the coast now to Walcott which is considerably more developed great sea defences. Could be ice cream time. Just heading past the Bacton gas terminal. Quite important currently, I guess that. It's certainly very secure. So after heading north, I'm turning inland now. And I'll add a couple of miles inland and turn left again, head back south, hopefully with the tailwind. I'm heading now into or onto these Norfolk quiet lanes. If you're watching, uh, if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you're watching this time last year, you'll find I discovered a whole network of them which I didn't know about until the last couple of days. But they're brilliant for riding on, especially on the gravel bike, spot on. <laughs> I feel still showing 17 degrees. Not bad for October, eh? So I'm just riding now through Backton Woods, although it is actually a good couple of miles from Backton. So in this particular area of Norfolk, it quite surprised me last year when I discovered them for the first time. A lot of these quiet lanes are all tree-lined. And I must admit, I didn't really expect to find this kind of riding in Norfolk. You kind of expect it to be all open fields. It's very nice though. Well, you can see behind me some of those famous big skies Norfolk's famous for. In addition to big skies, lots of churches there's also quite a lot of water towers around here some are quite spectacular check this one out you might be able to just make out in the distance there a Haysborough lighthouse that's where we started off 
this particular video so it seems an appropriate point to say goodbye I'll see you again in a few days time with another video see you soon bye